My name is Drew Weatherhead. I'm a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, a father, husband, and I was the head instructor, owner, operator of Central Alberta Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Here, where we both have exactly the same leg orientation. 2020 was weird. It was not a good year to be in the industry of people touching people. His leg over his foot. Which is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in a nutshell. Being in central Alberta, Canada, we got hit pretty hard by a lot of lockdowns. Several lockdowns that specifically locked down these types of activities, athletic activities, especially ones that were person to person that had to have contact. Months after months went by, it ended up being 15 full months where there were restrictions and even complete shutdowns for the majority of that period. I had been running my business for almost three years at that point. And it just got to the point that as a small business, especially a young small business, I couldn't keep it going anymore. A lot of small businesses got crushed in the pandemic of 2020. So I'm not alone in that, I know but it hit us hard. It was our central income, single income family of six, and we had some hard choices to make. It was not an easy decision to close my business, but you know, at a certain point, finances are what they are, and it seemed like it was never ending, and the decision had to be made to basically end what was happening before it completely, completely crushed us. When I first got into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as a full-time occupation, I had come from a background of welding. I have a journeyman's ticket in welding, which I did for 15 years professionally. And there was a point where that industry started really failing in Alberta. It goes through ups and downs, but it really hit my particular job hard at a certain point, and I had to make a decision back then uh, what I was going to do if I was going to try to continue welding somewhere else, move my family, get into a different occupation. Uh, and we made a very strange at that point, but I think the perfect timing decision to not only get out of welding, but to take what we had from it and put it all into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and to become a full-time uh, self-employed entrepreneur in the passion that I love. So that choice was made in 2017 and it was going great. To be honest, before the pandemic hit in early 2020 here in Canada, uh, we were doing great, we were actually Everybody who knows who has a small business understands that the beginning year or two of a business is usually where you make or break it. Very rarely do you make good profits, if any, in that time. And we were just starting to get over the hump. All of a sudden, March of 2020 comes. And we got shut down. And we got shut down for four to five months straight. Now, I don't know how many people out there can afford to not have an income for that long, but I'll tell you, we didn't. You know, we, we probably burned through all of our savings and any money we had made through the gym two to three months into that. And that was a stretch. And we, you know, we barely made it through that first lockdown. And then the summer started rolling around 2020 and the Albertan government started reopening businesses with restrictions. So we were allowed to start classes again with smaller group sizes, smaller cohorts. And we had to be very extra careful with sanitization, which we were. And for the about four and a half months after that point that we were allowed to continue with restrictions, um, we had zero cases in the gym, in the student body. But the fall rolled around and come November, we got shut down again. All of the gyms got shut down. And this time it rolled right through Christmas. It continued on past the new year. It continued on past Easter. 
In fact, not only did the second lockdown here in Alberta continue on longer than the first, but it actually ended up rolling into the third lockdown, which at this point looks like it may be presently just starting to end in June of 2021. So six months in, it's looking like it may start to come to an end for the third lockdown. Like I said, my gym didn't make it. And I had to make some tough choices at that point. I had the decision to go back to welding, find a different day job. Both of those options are actually harder now than they ever were because jobs are scarce. The economy is not in a good way right now. Or similar to what the decision was made back in 2017 is I could do something unconventional, something uh, outside of the box. And after a long conversation, my wife and I decided that not only were we shutting down the gym, but we were going to sell our house and take whatever money we got out of that sale to put it into an RV and take my entire family mobile. You see, what I haven't said so far, and where a lot of people know me best from online, is I run the Because Jitsu Instagram meme page, and I've been doing it for almost six years now. Because I have an audience and a following so large on Instagram, it's actually provided me this strange other option, this outside the box option that not a lot of people had. And I figured that it was, it was the right time to try to leverage it for everything it was worth. I've got all sorts of different strange ways of making income through Instagram that I could actually rely on that completely. And to be honest, the only reason my gym lasted as long as it did in the year of 2021 it wasn't because of savings, it wasn't because of loans, it wasn't because of grants, and it wasn't because of income through the gym. All of that was null and void by about January of 2021. In fact, for about four months after that, the only thing that kept the gym going was a constant, constant hustle on the Instagram side. And it worked month after month. I poured every ounce of effort I had and every bit of ingenuity and networking to try to figure out a way to use that platform to help support my passion. Hopefully for long enough that it would be able to survive the pandemic shutdowns. Now, unfortunately, it didn't get me that far. It didn't get me that six to seven months through. But one thing that it did that we're now going to rely on is it proved the case there was a successful case study in the idea, does Because Jitsu have the wherewithal, does it have the functionality to be able to serve as an actual income itself, a primary income? And it worked to get enough income not only to cover my house payments, but the gym payments, and together, those are probably three times as much as we need to survive on the road in this RV. So because of that, we made the choice that we're gonna go do this thing. We're starting a whole new chapter and taking ourselves not only away from the situation, but away from the geography. We're gonna put wheels underneath our feet and take ourselves out of this area. Our goal is to come across the border once it opens up between Canada and the US. I wanna go and check out other gyms in other states in a different country. I don't want COVID to get the last word. I want to be able to meet people and hear their stories. And this is part of what the travel is going to be. We're going to find the silver lining in these storm clouds. We're happy to take you along. Welcome to the North-South Chronicles.